Hello everyone, how's it going? Today we're playing Kerbal Space Program again. So, I have upgraded a couple of my facility stuff so I can do bigger and better things out there. Um, today what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to basically just build a rocket with some components. Now, uh, I'm not accepting any contracts right now. I'm not doing any contracts right now. Uh, just trying to show people um, some basic rocketry building. I know when I very first played this game, when I had a couple components, I didn't know what to do with them. So, I'm going to show you what to do. Essentially, as always, for every single rocket you're going to do, you're going to need a pod, command pod, no matter what. I know in my last video, I built just the smallest rocket with the command pod and an engine. But this is going to be different because um, we have more, more components to use. So, there's our command pod. Now... As always, we're going to need a parachute. Put that on top. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to get the heat shield, which I believe is in thermal. And I think it's this guy. Yeah. Slap the heat shield right on the bottom. Then we're going to use a couple. Do a decoupler. That's not the right one. That ain't going to work. That's going to work. So basically... We're going to follow our staging, this is going to be a couple, and left, what we left over is going to be the parachute and the command pod. So I'm going to slap a small engine in it, at the bottom. Small engine, small tank. There we go. And that's going to be for when I get into space. I'm not going to go to orbit with this thing. Um, I won't have enough um, rocket fuel. but. We'll see what happens. Now I'm going to do another decoupler. Oops, not that one. Again. There we go. Grab a couple fuel tanks. I'll stack about two of those guys. And, oops, two of those guys. And an engine. We're going to just use this guy right here. Um. Typically, when I'm lock, rocket, <laughs> launching a rocket, <laughs> we're going to put the structural, um, these uh, stability enhancers on there. Basically, just to make it so much more easier to launch. You're not, your rocket's not wobbling around everywhere and toppling over. Um, but it takes a little while to unlock these, which kind of sucks. But this is all I'm going to do. Not uh, probably should add some fins, but I'm not going to. So we're gonna follow our staging here. These are gonna go off, and we're gonna bring our main engine down here. So it's main engine. Those take off. Decouple that. Launch the other small engine. Decouple that and parachute. Perfect. That's what I want. Title of the spacecraft is going to be uh, Mercury Seven. Perfect. Launch. Alright, so I believe I've said this before in my last video, but what we're going to do is you're going to hit shift to control your throttle all the way up. I know there's different people out there that do a lot of other things. I do this way. I find out that it works for me. Find your own way to launch a rocket and do what makes you happy. So we're going to go all the way up in our throttle and hit space bar. And we're gonna take off. So we're just going straight up. I'm not doing anything crazy. I know I'm gonna aim for the water over here. Uh, so I'm gonna start kind of tilting my rocket that way using D, and then I'll kind of throttle down just a little bit so I can save some fuel. And I know once we get to, I guess at the point of the, uh, as we're leaving the atmosphere it becomes a lot you have to use a lot more fuel to escape so we're kinda of preserving all that now so we can get possibly into a better orbit or we're just gonna do a suborbital flight which is what I'm shooting for right now so we're tilting over this is kinda of that point where it may slow you down 
escaping the atmosphere. Now, to control your throttle, shift and control. Shift goes up, control goes down. I gotta say, for this game, the music is so beautiful when you get into space. I loved it. Ever since I played it from the beginning, it's been one of the most beautiful noises ever. It's very exciting to get into space once you, uh, into, I don't have enough fuel with this guy. I want to make sure I have enough fuel to, um, come back down from orbit at a speed that's not going to kill me. Like last time. So now I'm out, everything's gone, decop, and I'm at a good enough in a safe spot where if that falls when that falls back down it's not gonna hit uh, my base down there it'll be um, safely hopefully splashing into the water and I can recover it later but I'm gonna hit M again check out my apoapsis again apoapsis is furthest point away from earth periapsis is your closest way from closest point to earth so it's like when they say the moon is in its apoapsis, it's for this approach from Earth, periapsis, closest. Those are good points to know. So I'm about to hit my apoapsis very soon. Uh, I'm going to start up my second engine. Kill your engine off completely, hit X. Very useful. I might be able to put this little guy in orbit. We'll see what happens. So I'm probably just going to go up just a little bit more. And then I'm going to use the remaining fuel. So we've almost gotten to orbit attitude, which is fine. So I'm going to bring my rocket back all the way to this side, right here. The one with the little X in it means your retro fire, retrograde, slowing you down. And I'm going to go ahead and do that now, because I am coming down pretty quick. So as you can see, my orbit line is now shrinking. My intended path of travel is now shrinking. I'm going to land possibly in the middle of the ocean in the dark. About out of fuel. Yep, I am out. So now I can decouple that. Heat shield is going to be coming down like this. While I'm up here, probably should do a crew report. Uh, I've already done this before, but keep it even it's gonna bring me nothing um, coming down you want your heat shield pointing where you're going because that's how that's where all the heat's gonna be if you have it the opposite way if you're going in like this you're going to destroy your parachute and you probably will travel down faster than you are intending this gives you enough drag to slow you down that's why spaceships are, or space, yeah, spaceships, I guess, are going to be built this way. Coming down pretty quick. Luckily, we're going to land in the ocean, in the water, so it's beautiful. Just beautiful. Perfect. I was hoping that wasn't going to break and stuff, but it didn't. We're good. So now I'm going to hit T, release my SAS, stability assisted. And we're below th about to be below 300 meters per second. So now gravity is pulling us down. We're coming. Not sure how far the ocean is from where I'm at right now, but it'll be alright. Now we're going to deploy the parachute. Let's 
It's going to slow us down even more. We're going to get a bunch of G-forces. Valentina Kerman's eyes are about to bug out of her head. Not really, but... I don't know what height the parachute deploys itself. There it is. So it's about 700 meters off the ground. Give or take. So now I'm floating down to Earth at 6 meters per second. Friendly landing. I know in this game if you time warp your parachute deployed, it will rip off. So, be careful about that. But as we float down to Earth, um, that is pretty much it. Uh, building that type of rocket with a couple engines. You don't always have to use what they have, um, as in engine wise. Make your own engines by using fuel tanks. It's a lot easier. And you can get more, uh, it'll be a lot cheaper in the end. So, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm just going to float down here and um, sign off. So, again, thank you guys for watching. Like the video if you want to, and uh, have a great day.